What's up everybody? Here at Blade Show 2021. I'm sitting here with Craig from Tops. Craig, how you doing, man? Great, man. Okay, Good so he has brought some really cool stuff. All of this stuff is new, prototype, fresh material, guys. Yes. So we should just jump into it. Let's do it. What do you think? Yeah. All right, yeah. man, you take it. Okay, first off, daggers. Everybody loves daggers. Uh, at least I love daggers. I don't know. Um, this is one that was brought to us by an outside designer. It's uh, We have no name for it yet, but it's clearly designed based off of the Roman gladius. So the short sword that they used for kind of the the, the skirmishes where they didn't, you know, oh, yeah. you, you don't need the broadsword, you, but you're in close, right? right? Close that, kind of, that kind of yeah. combat. And uh, basically it's just a shrunken down version of that. You look at it right away. Oh That's yeah, gladius. it screams gladius. Yes. So, um, you know, standard yes. Topps knives. It's uh, it's 1095, differentially heat treated, black traction coating, tan canvas handles. Uh, I believe we're gonna put that in a Kydex sheath. Nice. Um, so yes, very very cool looking design. Um, I just I don't think I've ever seen a mini Gladius. Right. And I think so, it's so cool. Yeah. I love how flat that is. You know, yeah. that thing is slicey. Whatever you want to. I mean. Not stabby, but slicey. Yes, it yes. is a it's a hardworking knife, and good cutting tool. It is really interesting that you have this because my son was like, "Hey, Dad, you got to pick me up a gladiator <laughs> sword," and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna be busy, but yeah, I'll see what I can do." So I might have to send him a couple photos of this guy. Absolutely, we can make that happen. Heck yeah, <laughs> awesome, cool. All right, next up, this one is uh, for me. This one's pretty cool because I like I like traditional stuff. Um, this is actually a Marvel's design. And they came to us, they've, they've got this knife they've had, I don't even know how long, probably, you know, decades. Right. And it's called the Woodcraft. They came to us and they said, hey, we want you to, to make this knife for us. And it's got bolsters, it's got kind of that polished finish, it's got, you know, leather, the right. stacked leather handles, things like that. And we were like, that's not really, that's not really what it's we do. It's not really your style. Yeah, and they, they, they were like, no, but that's, that's the point. We want you to make it in a top style with top finishes. I love that. And so Leo was like, yeah, I got an idea. And so that's how we ended up doing this. Rather than bolsters and stacked leather, we went with our micarta like we always do. But we found a way to kind of inset a piece of black micarta into tan micarta. Dude, may and, I? Uh, the way this came out is super cool. Um, my favorite part is just that transition between the the spine. You got the spine, you got black liner, a little bit of tan, oh, and then back into yeah. the black. It's just the way that came out was was better than I imagined. Not only that, guys, but the fit, the finish on this, you would almost say, "Oh, that's so smooth." I don't know if it's my Carter, right? Yep. But man, you still get that in the flat. You get that tack, tacky my Carter grip. Yep. Dude, I am a huge fan of Micarta, and honestly, I think this is a really cool design to be able to slap in a different color Micarta. I mean, just like what you were saying, the transition, right? Yeah, yeah. This thing's cool, man. Next level cool. I really like that, and that really fits my hand really well, I know. actually. Yeah, they, the design was already a good design, you know, and, and all we did was just kind of topsify it, yeah. and, uh, you, and it came you out put awesome. Your, you put your name on it, you know, yeah. you, you guys, you guys do your thing, and I honestly, I have a lot of respect for you guys because, um, you know, some people, they get distracted with other things, and you guys, it doesn't matter what it is, what you come out with, it is top stamp approval, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I, I, the, the real reason behind that is Leo. So, Leo's been running the company for, you know, uh, probably, probably closer to 10 years. He's been the president for the last about, uh, for the last two or three. Um, so really what happens is all designs, whether they come from outside or not, they go right. through him and whether he's got to make changes or, you know, change just little tweaks to yeah. make it a tops knife. Yeah. That's, that's what he excels the fine at. Fine tuning. Yeah. And he can, he can, he's not that kind of guy that, that has one style. You know, he'll, he can he can design anything, and so he can take anything and put the top spin on it and have it look like a tops knife, but not take away from 
who, whoever brought what it, to it us. is. Yeah. yeah. So so that's 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 one of the things he's just naturally good at. That's huge. Yeah, um, that's so yes. cool. So speaking of outside designers, the next two are both from uh, from first responders. One of them okay. in, one of them in the Air Force. The other is a police officer. So first up is the uh, the MPAT. So this was designed by a Wizzo. He uh, he's the guy that is in the plane, you know, controlling the bombs. And uh, that's a that's a job right there, it's a, man. It's a you know it's a, it's a heavy job. Yeah. And uh, and and he seems to be really good at it. That's um, awesome. But anyway, he brought us this design. He's he's always been into blades. What he wanted was something that would sit real close to the vest. It would stay low profile, out of the way, especially, I mean, if you've ever seen what it's actually like in a cockpit of an aircraft like it's that, tight. there's no room. There, it's I a mean, seat and you got Yeah, legs, like to turn like this it. is like, that's about it. You know, you're, you're moving very little. And so to have right. anything on your vest in the way, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. So that's why this handle is so thin. Everything about this knife is just going to be slim, close to the body. Yeah. Um, but it's wide yeah. enough that you actually still get a good grip on it. And honestly, with this milling on the uh, micarta here, how can you not get a good grip? Yeah. But yeah. right here, I mean, people say my hands are the hams, but <laughs> you know what? This is ham approved 100%. My hand fills that, the scale there perfectly. Guys, this is a cool, I, I love tops and here's why. I'm not. This isn't just a thing. I, I love tops and this is why. They, you guys stick to who you are and you come out with hard hitting knives. These things can take beyond punishment. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And yeah. I, I think that's so cool to be able to create a product that not only is gonna go to work, yeah. but is also gonna last forever. You know what I mean? That's, I mean, that's that really, these are these are tools, that's the goal. It should yeah. be something that you can rely on, not like for a while, but it's 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 a tool, right? You know, the like carpenters, how many carpenters have tools that are, that are oh, like yeah. that they inherited? Yeah, and, years and, and years old. That's the goal with, with knives, that's the goal with anything like that. So we, we, we do our best to make that happen. That's awesome, man. Um, so continuing on with the, uh, right. the the first responder kind of deal here, the, the next one was designed by a guy that's uh, he's a police officer, I believe he's a sheriff. Um, but basically he's, he was looking for something that would be like a good EDC, especially for somebody who might have to use it to defend themselves. Right. And uh, so that's why that's why the really aggressive Warncliffe point, um, you know, the stout blade, got, this thing is a quarter inch thick. Man, Carson, you gotta jump in on this. Look yeah. how thick that is. <laughs> now that is the yeah. definition of a thick boy. Yeah, right so there. big thick blade, thick handles. Um, what's cool about this one is we did a we did a pattern on the on the handle that kind of resembles a a the 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 random pattern that custom knife makers are doing on their hands. Right. And uh, so rather than than like perfectly placed contouring we tried to do a little more random on that and it came out really cool it's got a kind of an interesting uh slope to it yeah um super cool how this handle came out and i literally got these handles to put on this knife on tuesday and we flew Dude. out wednesday morning that is so. how fresh all this stuff <laughs> yeah. is honestly is guys you new. gotta pay attention because this is some hot stuff yeah so that's that one um that one's gonna be really cool i'm gonna i'm probably gonna have one of those personally oh, yeah i like that one a lot Dude, um, let's, I, man, check out how thick that guy is. <laughs> Next to my watch, that is a thick piece of material right there. But it fills your hand so well. Yep. I honestly, I love how thick it is with the contour. I like the randomization because you can really get a good purchase on it. Yep. But this thing is a workhorse, holy crap. Yep. Yeah, utility, so that's the thing. A lot of people look at that and they're like, oh, that's that's only for defense. But that straight blade, those are perfect for oh, pole yeah. cuts, you know, slicing, anything like Heck, that. Heck, let's that, go cut up some carpet. Let's yeah. go do, like, let's work. Absolutely. Right? I, I like that blade style a lot. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yes. Next up, this one, this one is, uh, I would say this one's a long time coming. We've uh, we've had the Silent Hero out um, almost, I think about seven years or close to it. And we finally have decided to do another version of it. So Anton, uh, he designed this years ago. He, he's an anti-poacher in South Africa. Nice. Um, he's done a lot of work with, uh, with guy, training guys down there to stop the people that are hunting rhinos in particular. Right. 
and uh, that knife has been popular it's always been a good seller and now we're making a smaller version of it so this it. is this is basically a four inch version of the uh, the, the original silent hero um, so really all we've done shorten the blade a little bit got rid of the finger choil because it's small enough doesn't need right. it and then the handle got maybe a little bit shorter but we also thinned up the blade steel so the original is 3 16 where this one's smaller we wanted it to be a little more slicey so eighth inch uh, okay. it's got a pretty high grind so the edge geometry on this is going to be very sharp and uh we thickened up the handles too so the original the only complaint we've ever had about the silent hero is the handle is too small and so i think we fixed that with this one The contouring <laughs> on these handles yep. blows my mind. It is so smooth. Oh, look at that. Dude, get in close on that. Check that out. Jimping through the micarta and spine in the handle. That is so cool. I like it too because you have the hump that you can thumb ramp. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. But then you can come straight over the top, goes into the pad of your thumb, locks in. Yeah, so you've got a good you've got a good thrust right. and you've got a good like cutting profile for that. Right. Yeah. Guys, this thing is so comfortable in hand, and I, dude, I love what you guys do. You guys build some big, beefy knives, but for the average person who's looking for three, four, five inches of knife, you know, for a fixed blade, whether they're camping or hunting or whatever, you know, you guys build awesome quality stuff that literally is going to be last through the apocalypse. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right? That's the goal. But that's the, the goal. handles on that, so yeah. smooth, man. Yeah, the mic, you guys kill it in the Mike Carter game. You really do. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. So last one. This one's cool because uh, it's a program we started about five years ago at Tops. Every year we give the employees a chance to design a knife and whoever wins gets to have that knife made. They get to be listed as a designer. It gives them a chance to kind of get involved in the process. You know, right. we're, we're a production company, so yeah. we're not a company full of guys making a knife from start to finish. Right. We're a company of guys that are really good at Kydex or a guy that's really good at sharpening and things like that. Right. So they sometimes they get a little removed from the process. Okay. So to try to help keep people involved and, and just kind of understand what goes into this, uh, we do this design contest. So five years, We've been doing it, this is the fifth winner. Um, and basically we give them a, a task. We say, we designed this type of knife. Here's some of the specs that it has to be within. Go. Go. And uh, every year we've had at least 20 people participate. We've only got 30 something employees. So right. over half of everybody is, is, you know, put some effort into this. And uh, this year's, or I guess last year's contest was uh, to design a Warncliffe or a sheep's foot. And we gave them kind of a length restriction, and that was it. Just do whatever comes to mind. We had we had some wildly different designs. I mean, stuff that was a lot more kind of a tactical feel like yeah. this, to stuff that was totally utilitarian and not like nothing else. And uh, the other cool thing we did this time is we had our uh, we had there's a Top Science users group on Facebook. We had some of the main guys there judge. So nobody oh, at Tops nice. had any say in who yeah, that's won. That's awesome. And uh, and, it, and it was really cool. So. The winner this year was actually Dylan Waters. He's our kind of our main dealer rep. That's um, awesome. He helps us out at a lot of shows. He's here at this show. And uh, so this is the one that won. We we don't have a name for it yet. Uh, we've been calling it the Dilly Dilly just to just to <laughs> get under his skin. <laughs> right. Because uh, that's that's a nickname that we adopted oh, yeah. for him Absolutely. a while ago. And uh, but yeah, that's what's cool about this one. It's got uh, you know micarta. We've got some some green and tan canvas micarta. Uh, we did kind of a distressed Cerakote finish on this. Okay. Um, we may end up doing it in stainless even. We're kind of we're kind of toying with that a little bit, um, but we wanted to at least bring the prototype to, to blade. That's so, so cool. That's what we're looking at for this one. Oh, look how big this thing is, man. Yeah. So flat. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's that right here, guys. Look at that. You can do decal stuff with this. Choke up super easy. I like it because with your, my middle finger yep. right there, I can pinch and hold here. Dude, I've got it a locks solid in really grip. Good. Oh, absolutely. But it's still got it like a really full handle. Yeah. Right. Full yeah. handle. Now almost 
chopper-esque. Yeah, you know, almost. Back here maybe on the back. Maybe a little back. short. Yeah, maybe that, a little but... short, but you know, if you wanted to get crazy on some twigs, you know, you could. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, this is so cool. I love that you guys do that program, and I think yeah. it's so it awesome to be able to get your employees, not only to learn the process a little better, but to constantly have their minds rolling on what they can do next. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's what really pushes a lot of people forward is what's next and what do you guys think? You know, having having guys that are knife nuts, obviously they're working there for you for a reason, you know what I yep. mean? Yep. But to be able to have a little input, that's so big. Man. Yeah, it's 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 been a great thing, and even uh, I've never seen anybody be all get get like offended that they didn't win. Everybody's yeah. always been really cool to the person that did, and and you know, handshakes and hugs and like high fives and stuff. It's it's uh, it's really cool. Dude, that's so cool. Thing. I really love that. Yeah. I think you guys should call it Dilly Dilly. I agree. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Dude, that Dylan doesn't is like so that, cool. but you know, we're, we're, I think we're breaking him down. Yeah, there you go. He's, yeah. he's starting to accept it. Yeah, he'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have here with Craig from Tops Blade Show 2021, and we will catch you on the next video. All right, guys, Blade Show 2021, that's a wrap. Make sure you jump over, check out the playlist, Hit the website if you want to buy some knives and we will catch you on the next one.